Welcome to the quick start guide for the slime character. This is the basic set for all of our characters, really. Um, the big thing about our characters uh, that makes, separates it from most of the rest is that we use uh, procedural materials, uh, substances that uh, allow you to change the look and feel of the characters um, and create lots of variety. So I'm going to start uh, by just changing the look of uh, this character right here. You can see it's transparent, so we're going to keep them that transparent. If you change this to uh, opaque, then the out the body will turn opaque. Um, I'm happy with the default transparency, so we're just going to keep it at keep it there. In the body here, I'm just going to change the hue, and maybe we'll make a blue slime. All right, that's fine. I'm going to uh, keep everything else the way it is for now. I might make some more variety later. The lightness of the body and the contrast. We also have this overlay color. It doesn't do too much on the slime body because it's pretty much a solid color already. Um, so we'll ignore that. The brain, I'm going to keep it the way it is. It's hard to see. This is the brain inside the body. If it was more transparent, you'd see it more. But the brain is the brain. I'm going to keep that and the veins to be the same color. Uh, the eyeball as well. But the iris, I can change the hue of that. So the slime uses uh, uh, transparency. And because it uses transparency, uh, I have two materials, one's opaque. I'm changing the eye on the opaque, and of course we're not seeing the, the changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the um, transparent one onto the slime, or the eye rather. The only problem is that Unity doesn't like multiple um, transparencies stacked up on top of each other, so you'll see this blip back and forth where Unity doesn't know the depth of the, uh, which, of the objects and which one to draw first. So. For our purposes right now in editing the texture, we can, that's fine, uh, but in game we'll want to separate into two materials. So let's finish up with the iris, uh, bring the saturation up, make a, uh, a red eye with a blue body. Alright. Um, we're going to add a little ground dirt to all of these. Uh, let's bring this up a little bit. Let's see what we have. Now, obviously, this is ground dirt transparent, so we're going to click this to make it mask the opacity. Now it looks like actual dirt on the body. Um, we're going to change the color to make it a little darker. Uh, I also want to go with a contrast. Increase the level and bring down the height. I don't want it at the very bottom. There we go. Uh, and then the roughness value. I don't want it to be too dry because he is a wet character, or at least somewhat wet, so we'll make it a little bit rough, but not completely rough. Alright, and we'll keep it mass metal too. Doesn't matter yet, but later we need to metal, so. So here we have a blue character with a red eyeball and some dirt. I like that, so um, with this selected, this uh, main material, I'm just going to select Save Texture. Now, there's a Save Texture for Unity 5.2.3 and above, and Save Texture that works with uh, versions before Unity 5.2. If you're on 5.2 through 5.29 or whatever it came right before this, uh, there's actually a bug in Unity, so this whole process won't even work. Um, so please do not use those versions. So I'm just going to say Save Texture here. When prompted, we're going to use uh, just select export here. That's a temporary folder that the process has created and they will delete when this process is completed. process can take a, a little bit depending on your system. I think the graphics card has a lot to do with it. I'm on a laptop so it takes me a little bit longer than a desktop would, would, would or a, a system with a really nice graphics card and a super fast processor. Um, basically what it's doing is uh, um, exporting the, the texture maps um, from this substance into Unity and creating a material for the uh, for the maps. It's something you can do manually. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Do this manually. You want to make sure generate all outputs is checked, and then in this top gear box, select export bitmaps. In 5.2.3, there's two versions. I believe either one will work, uh, but you might want to test it just in case because there's transparency here. Uh, and you then save that wherever you want on your system, and you'll have to manually bring it into Unity. Um, but since we did that automatically, expand this, the folder is actually uh, has a timestamp on it. 
That way you can export many of these without having to uh, keep track of it right away. Uh, the second one is just called slime, we'll adjust that later. Um, right now we have our material here and we have to make sure um, that our metallic roughness is over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete some of these. We don't need the emissive, we don't need the height. Height is something you really shouldn't be using for the character, especially not this character. You can actually delete, save some uh, disk space. Then make sure that the metal roughness is in this plot. If this is empty, make sure that's over there. Height map is gone, which is great, and we have our new material. Um, and we're gonna, I'll, I'll rename this now, oops, to slime blue. And we'll bring this over and You'll notice the changes, uh, slight, maybe slight changes, but there shouldn't be any big changes. If we have it opaque, it'll be opaque like that. Uh, and now our character's fully ready to go. Now if you do have it opaque, you can actually turn off the brain and the veins, uh, save a little bit of time. But there you go. And um, of course you'll want to make a second one of these. Um, we'll call this sign blue O, make that one opaque and uh, add that to the brains, to the eye, and to the veins. That way you don't get that blip. There we go. So now this character is done, is ready to be played, uh, and it's a standard shader character. So I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. Um, if you would like to download these maps, I can't, I'm not gonna include them in the package because they, they take up a, a lot of disk space, um, but uh, I'm gonna make a whole bunch right now. I'll speed up the video. Go to infinitypbr.com, that's uh, my website. And if you click up here, click to log in. I'll log in. And when you log in, sign up. Uh, there's going to be extra uh, stuff here. So like our Rock Monster Pack has all these uh, different um, Unity packages that will have these pre-made textures in them. Uh, they might be separated into many files. It might be just one file. But you'll be able to download it and add to Unity so you get a whole bunch of pre-made textures. So you don't have to do the process yourself if you don't want to. Um, that's it. So. I'm going to make a whole bunch right now. Enjoy. One thing I didn't mention that uh, you should look out for at the end of the speed part of this video is uh, the metal options, uh, or rather, is the custom material option. Um, you'll see that I've exported a uh, and in the package the metal input. Uh, it's called metal input maps, and it's got an albedo opacity, ambient occlusion, metallic roughness, and a normal map. Uh, if you bring those into the custom body nodes at the bottom of the inspector, we only need those four for this really, the other two are there, but uh, you shouldn't be using them unless you're using a missive and you just shouldn't be using the height. Bring those in and then at the top of the options list, um, click on the custom body uh, check box and then also check invert custom normal. Uh, most of them, uh, our base materials need to be uh, custom normals. and then. Um, you'll see that the, that material takes over the body. So now you have a, a, a non-transparent because the material is not transparent. Uh, so you might as well change it to opaque if you haven't. Uh, uh, metal um, character. So if you have any of our other objects, uh, oftentimes our packages come with base materials, different metals, marble, wood, and other materials. Uh, if you have any of those, they can also be used here. I'm going to export a few metals for you, um, so you don't have to do that. But if you have any, then uh, it's a pretty good uh, way of making even cooler slime characters.